it's gonna make me rotate. Oh, is it gonna stay? Oh, it might stay. Hi guys. I think I still might tilt it though. I wonder if it's gonna get mad at me. Oh, it's still gonna get mad at me. Okay, whatever. We'll keep it there. Hi, everybody. So, I don't know if you guys tuned in yesterday. I'm not really gonna wait for like anybody to get on or anything. Um, so I am going to, every day I'm going to be doing some type of live video. Every day is going to be different. They're on different topics, different things, um, in between like 7 a.m. and 7.30. So it's pretty much 7.30 now. Um, today it's, tor it's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Woo, baby. All right. So you guys, I'm going to just stick with something super, super simple, like straightening your hair. There's so many people that have no idea how to legit straight their hair. Straight their hair? Do I, can I talk? Nope. Um, legitly know how to actually straighten their hair. First of all, um, really all my Tuesdays are going to be like tutorials. So it's going to be, some things are going to be about like hair routines, hair products, ingredients, stuff like that. Some are going to be about like skincare routines, um, obviously skincare products, uh, you know, I normally stick, obviously, to all natural stuff, so that's pretty much what I'll be sticking with. Um, so it'll just be, like, pretty much, like, product talk, you know what I mean? I'm actually showing you guys, like, how to do different things with your hair. Um, for those of you that don't know what I do, I'm a licensed massage therapist, and I'm also a licensed uh, cosmetologist, hairstylist, so... Um, there's so many things that a lot of people that are not educated in the hair world, like just don't realize what they're doing wrong. Um, some of you are doing everything just fine. So, you know, if you take something out of this cool, if you don't, then you know. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do. So just to kind of start out, you guys, um, whenever I sleep, I sleep with a clip in my hair. So literally like I... Whenever I go to bed, I just put my hair up just like this and I just wrap it around. And you guys, my hair was actually a lot longer than this, um, but I cut like four or five inches off. Um, and I sleep just like this. So it's literally off of the back of my head so I can still lay down flat. Cause a lot of people ask me like, how in the heck do you sleep with a clip on your head? And it's like, like this. So I just make sure it's not on the sides or anything in my head, make sure that this part's clean. So then that way I can lay back and I don't have like this clip stabbing me in the head or anything like that. Um, and then I sleep like that. The reason why I sleep with a clip in and not like a ponytail is because ponytails are extremely damaging for your hair. Um, if you, you know, put your hair up in a ponytail, you know, for a little while or whatever, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's not gonna be the end of the world. But it's so much better to use a clip or like if you guys have ever seen those those uh, hairstylist clips that we use whenever we're actually doing your hair, you can use those too. Um, if you have super, super thick hair, you probably, it's, it's a little bit, you might have to use like two of them to keep your hair up. Um, scrunchies are also fine and they're bag in style. So, I mean, why not use them? Um, so you can use scrunchies too, but you got to remember scrunchies still have that band inside of them. Um, the good part about them though, is that since they don't have the actual, I wish I had another ponytail, like a legit ponytail. Um, they don't have that piece that like makes your hair rip out or whatever that, that where it's actually connected. This is just one silk ponytail. So these, these scrunchies are actually better than a legit ponytail. Um, so you guys really, if I were you, I would just kind of scratch the ponytails and just get either scrunchies or get clips. They're so much better for your hair. If any of you have ever seen those flyaways in the top, or if you like have your hair straight and you have like these just flyaway pieces all over your hair, most likely it's from breakage from either heat, your, uh, heat temperature settings are way too high or, um, your ponytails are literally ripping your hair out of your head. And that's exactly why you have all these pieces and stuff everywhere. Um, unless obviously you're like, you know, um, some people that take medications and stuff like that, 
there's a lot of different things that can cause hair loss and stress can cause hair loss and there's so many different things that can make your hair break it just kind of depends on what you're doing and what your routines are but as far as what i use at night to keep my hair up i use a clip because it's just way better and then um yes i still get that weird line but at least it's not like damaging my hair you can tell that my hair is still even nothing's done with it and it's still like silky and it's fine so okay I do not want to like burn my counter here. I should have grabbed a little map. No, oh, stay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys quick, easy, every day. What can I use for breakage? I didn't realize my ponytails were causing that. Um. Oh, Ashley, you can use, like I said, you can use um, scrunchies. You can use clips like this if your hair's like, if you have um, you know, pretty thick hair or at least like I have a lot of hair, but my hair's fine. So if you want to use like a clip like this or scrunchies, those are fine. I would just try to stay away from the ponytails because they do just, they just break your hair so bad. And like, and like I said, if people want to put your hair up just for like a little bit, like if you're working or like whatever, that's fine. It's not going to like do a whole bunch of harm, but when you're sleeping in them, most hairstylists will tell you that it's just not, that's where a lot of breakage comes from is because we're sleeping in them. And then as we roll around and move throughout the night, our ponytails move. And then, you know, that's kind of where breakage comes from. It starts to break your hair and you don't even realize it. Um, well, to fix the flyaways, you can use a couple different things. You can use um, rejuvenic oil will help. You know all about that good stuff, girl. Um, reju rejuvenique oil will help kind of tame the flyaways. Um, cuts, you can also get like, um, I'll try to share a video of like dusting of a haircut. You can actually take scissors down like kind of the shaft of your hair and do a dusting. Um, I wouldn't do it unless like go to a hairstylist and do it. Don't do it yourself. Um, you can also, Monate has a frizz fix. I use that after the shower too. So frizz fix and the thermal protectant. Um, you can use those and those will really help with flyaways. Um, even our hairspray, you can use our flex hold hairspray. That'll help too. Um, so there's a couple different things that you can use to actually get the flyaways to kind of be more tamed down. Um, if the hair's already damaged in those spots, it makes it a little bit more difficult. You kind of got to get the hair healthy again before um, some of those will go away because as the day goes on, your flyaways are probably going to come back. So it kind of depends on how bad the breakage is, I guess. I hope that like helped answer your question. Um, but so what I'm going to show you, so you guys, I'm just going to do a quick little thing. This is something you guys can do every day. Okay. Most of us women straighten our hair every day. Anyway, um, what I do is I start at the bottom, starting at the bottom is better than just coming straight at the top and coming down with your brush, that's also going to help with breakage and stuff too. When we all start at the top of our hair and we get stuck, you know what I mean? That's not good because then you're ripping your hair out of your scalp and then you're pulling it the rest of the way down. And then everybody's like, why do I have all these clumps of hair? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, because you're literally ripping your hair out of your head. So start at the bottom and then come up and work your way up. Same with here. You don't want to start here and be like pulling down. You're going to do the same thing. Start at the bottom, work your way up, and just do that. Easy peasy, nothing crazy. So what I do is I actually, I'm going to be kind of looking in this mirror and talking to you guys at the same time. <laughs> um, so what I actually do is I straighten my hair first. You guys do not, please, please. Stop putting your hair straighteners and your curling wands and all this stuff at like 400 and some odd degrees. Stop doing that. Oh my gosh, you are literally, that causes um, flyaways because you're breaking your hair because the heat is so hot. Um, it's just super damaging, especially if you're super blonde like I am. It is so bad for blondes to have heat up to the highest degree. Um, I know most of our hair straighteners, like what does this one go up to? It's best if you do get a hair straightener or a curling wand or whatever, make sure it has like temperature settings. Um, this one goes up to 450. That's ridiculous. Don't ever put your hair straightener at 450. 
And if you're, if you do lower temperatures and it doesn't work, the reason why your hair is not straightening on lower temperatures is because you have so much buildup on your hair that the heat isn't even straightening it. So that just goes to show you that whatever products you're using is causing so much buildup that you can't even take 450 degrees and straighten your hair. Like your hair is not a pizza. We don't even bake pizza on 450 degrees. Why are you going to do it with your hair? So no more, I would say no more than like three, 320. I think it's pretty good. 330 isn't too bad. And I mean, and you guys don't be just like leaving it on there. Most of us know how to straighten our hair. It doesn't need to be, you know, it's not rocket science, but okay. So what I do is sometimes I'll take like a clip, like a smaller clip than what I showed you guys before. And I'll kind of section the hair as I go. Um, right now I'm just kind of showing you guys a simple, you know, just an easy way to do it without doing all that. But I go from the underneath underneath get all this so then that gets the back of your head you guys i mean you still are going to come back here and do this too but still going to help and i try to get as close to my root as possible um so that way i don't have any of those like weird bumps at the top so then I pretty much, I just straighten, straighten, straighten. Try to get all that as straight as possible. Okay. Those parts right by your ears are always hard, but those like anything that's in the front of your hair and anything that's like in the kind of temple down you wanna be gentle with, because you guys, we touch those pieces so much that that's why our fronts, the fronts of our hair break faster than the back, because we don't touch the back that much. It's the front that we touch, and that's why I see a lot of women and some men, they have major breakage in this front like bang area, and it's because they're putting one, high heat, um, not taking care of it correctly, not using the right like styling products or the right like heat protectants, um, I mean, you guys, shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that too are extremely important as well. Like you can go and go get shampoo and conditioner, but if it's not for your hairstyle, like your hair type, everybody's hair type is different. So if it's not for your hair type, you could be damaging your hair just with the shampoo and conditioners that you're using. So it's super important to pay attention to what you're doing and everybody please stop buying your shampoo and conditioner where you buy food just don't just don't do it we don't need to be buying shampoo and conditioner where we buy our food at like where we do our grocery shopping at that's grocery stores not hair stores um so i do the same thing over here super simple super easy i wish this thing would go down a little bit more then it, my phone's gonna start yelling at me. Rotate your phone. Okay. So, same thing on this side. And you guys, oh my gosh, ever since I started using Money, like this, just to kind of show you. So I was like balding in my temple areas, okay? Like all right here, it was like balding. And you, look at this. You see these? hairs, this stuff all here. This stuff is new hair, you guys. This is not stuff that's been there forever. I did not have that. I was like bald there. But I've been using our Intense Repair Treatment Spray. It's like a spot spray. And I've been using that. And oh my gosh, my I, like, I'm not balding there as bad anymore. And obviously it takes time. But like all those pieces there, that's all new hair, you guys. Like no joke. And this, oh my gosh, this part for some reason was fried. This all here was fried. And I've always taken care of my hair for the most part. So I don't know how that was so fried, but it was. And it was probably because, you know, my heat or whatever was too high on my hair straighteners back then. But all this has grown in like so nicely. It's actually like not fried anymore. And you guys, I'm blonde, so... <laughs> You know I put, you know, obviously lightener on my hair and all types of stuff. Did that turn out? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, what is going on? Um, so, yeah. You just do straighten, straighten, straighten. 
And I wrote some notes as I was going. Um, so I'm going to be kind of like looking down too, because, uh, let me tell you, I try to remember a lot of stuff, but you guys, I can't remember everything. <sighs> my mind doesn't work like that. Um, okay. So once I'm done straightening my hair, what I actually start using is I start using our, um, our, uh, dry shampoo. So my Nate's dry shampoo. Um, I have tried so many dry shampoos, you guys, and they all just feel like either too grippy or they feel like I have all this crap on my hair or they feel like, um, after the day goes on or whatever, my hair is right back to being greasy again. Like seriously, you guys, I have tried like every dry shampoo known to man and I'm like, yeah, I'm over it. So now that I have found my Nate, I am so, so happy because they have literally the best dry shampoo. It's actually been like awarded, um, because it's that good. So, um, that's what I do. So after I'm done doing this, after I always try to like make sure that even whenever my hair goes back, I don't want like, cause I have a little bit of a calic in the back. Some of you may relate. So I always try to take my hair straightener and kind of straighten that back instead of just like going to one side or the other. Um, and you guys, if you want, like I know a lot of people struggle with body and stuff in your hair. First of all, you need to be getting regular cuts. You need to be getting regular trims, regular haircuts, like every you know few months, however often you get into your hairstylist. Um, and if you want more kind of that oomph, you need to get layers in your hair. Get like shorter layers in your hair so that way that can happen. Um, so I haven't washed my hair since... What's today? Tuesday? I haven't washed my hair since Saturday. Yeah, I got back from Canada on Friday. Yeah, so Saturday. Um, so, yeah, whatever. It's like three-day hair. Um, okay, so our dry shampoo, you want to shake really well. This is what it looks like. For those of you that don't know, it is awesome. It's called the Champ. So it's the Champ dry shampoo. Um... The best thing about our dry shampoos, you guys, first of all, you shake it, you hear that little ball on the inside? Anything that ever has a little ball in the inside, you want to shake really well. Um, but the best thing about our dry shampoo, which I'm, again, kind of reading as I go because I had to take notes because I can't remember everything. I'm human. Um, so with our dry shampoo, most dry shampoos, they have, um, they're actually really bad for your hair. Um, most dry shampoos, like nutritionally, they're bad for your hair. Um, also most dry shampoos have talc powder in them, which for those of you that don't know what talc, as I drop caps, for those of you that don't know what talc powder is, um, it's like stone dust. Why stone dust is in hair products? I would never under, I just, I will never understand, but it's extremely damaging for the cuticle of your hair, which... I just thought it was extremely crazy that there's stone dust in dry shampoo. I was like, seriously, stone dust? Like, that's weird. Um, and then also there's like, in most dry shampoos too, there is a lot of like drying alcohols, which is extremely bad for your hair as well. And um, that's flammable. So like if anybody's ever close to like, I don't know, a fire or something like that, like your hair may catch on fire. So cool. You know what I mean? Like who wants to use... Um, a dry shampoo that's flammable. That's insane, you guys. Like, you shouldn't be putting flammable ingredients on your hair. That That's just crazy. So, um, and I did it for years, so I can't say anything. I put flammable hairsprays and dry shampoos and dry texture sprays and all the things on my hair for the longest time. So, I cannot say a word, but I do not do that anymore. And my hair has never been healthier, so I can obviously see the difference. And I've been using Monate since September. So, that's only, like, what? Um, September, October, November, December, January. It's been like six months that I've been using Monate and I can tell a huge difference. Um, so obviously with this, you want to shake it well. The ingredients that are in this, oh my gosh, you guys, I could like go on for days. So instead of it being like talc powders and stuff like that, it's actually made out of rice starch. Um, so it's like natural from the ground, you know, different things like that, rice, whatever, you know. So 
Also, so right starch, it's also um, has essential oils in it and organic like sugar cane alcohol. So it's all natural stuff, you guys. It's not things that are, you know, all this chemical based made in a crazy factory, putting freaking butane and whatever else in there. Like, no, none of that is in there. There's no flammable ingredients. Um, some, some things have like propane and stuff in them. That's crazy. You don't need to put propane or butane or whatever else on your hair. That's just insane. So, um, but like I said, the champ is, uh, rice starch. It's essential oils. It's organic sugar cane. There's no talc powder. There's no, um, crazy alcohols. And it's actually like ozone safe, which most dry shampoos are not ozone safe. So this is ozone safe and it's just a whole hell of a lot better for you to be honest so um what i do is that after you shake it obviously you can kind of see what i do is i kind of pull my hair up and i just spray pull my hair focus on the root but don't be like right here oh thanks jason you're awesome too um you want to focus on the root but do not be like bam because you're just that that's doing nothing for nobody um so I just kind of do that. I kind of, they tell you let it sit for like one to two minutes. I have a really hard time doing that because I am like squirrel half the time. So I can't, I can't just not touch it. I don't know why. Um, so I kind of just massage it in a little bit. And the reason why they tell you to actually, you know, not touch it and let it sit there for, um, one to two minutes is because the dry shampoo is connecting to the oil that's on the root of your head and and it's actually sucking it up so that oil isn't there anymore so it doesn't look like you you know look like a grease bag or whatever so i just kind of do that this should last you you guys i'm kind of a freak about dry shampoo so i go through it like a lot faster than probably most people should um, but this should last you like at least four to six months and I would say it lasts me about about three months or so. But like I said, you guys, I pretty much use it every day. <laughs> Even when my hair's clean. So, because if you put dry shampoo on your hair while it's, um, right when it's clean, it actually soaks up a lot of oils um, before it ever gets to the point where it's even oily to begin with. So, it helps. Um, so, I just kind of massage it in. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a flipper. So I flip my hair over and I massage the rest of it in and kind of go from there. So you can tell that's already given it some body already without hardly even doing anything. The next thing that I use after I find the cap that I dropped earlier. Okay, so the next thing that I use is our dry texture spray. So same thing, you wanna shake pretty well. This doesn't have like a little ball thing inside of it, so you don't have to like shake it like crazy. Just enough to, you know, get those products moving around in there. And also I wrote it down because you know, I can't remember everything, so bear with me. Okay, so with our dry texture spray, obviously, the dry texture spray is for hold, it's for volume, it's for to give your hair a little grit without feeling gritty because I feel like a lot of texture sprays and stuff like that are extremely gritty and it makes your hair feel funny and most of us can't stand that. Like I have literally, like I said, you guys have tried so many different hair products and Monate has changed my life and some people may not agree um, and that's fine but that this is just what it's done for me. Um, and I just love it. So it's obviously for hold, add some grit. It's nice for like those beachy wave hair days, which obviously I'll be doing beach waves and stuff on other tutorial videos. Um, on Tuesdays, it adds texture, it's weightless, it adds lift, so that goes again with volume. Um, also, it has Rejuvenique S in it, um, which is awesome because that actually helps with like revitalizing the hair. Um, it also has fiber rescue, which is good for strength um, of the hair. And then it also, I can never say this word. So like, again, bear with me. Cortisobe, Cortis, Cortisobe. I probably sound so stupid right now. Um, and I took medical terms, so that's really bad. But Cortisobe and pro, Procatalin. <laughs> um, and that's for, uh, you know, it protects the color of your hair. So any of my peeps that get their hair colored, 
Um, this is still okay for your color treated hair. Actually, all my Nate products are good for color treated hair. So that's never anything you have to worry about. Um, the ingredients that are in these, um, I'll kind of do like the same thing like what I did with the dry shampoo, but the ingredients that are in these are things like coconut alkalines, sweet almond proteins, um, like the vegetables, peas. Um, there's like a pea abstract or a extract or however you say that in there. Um, there's seed oils like tomato seeds, lemons, limes, carrots, um, bergamot, which is like an essential oil. Um, so any of like my massage people that are watching, um, you guys pretty much know what bergamot is. A lot of people don't know what bergamot is, but it is, it's, a, it's normally comes in an essential oil container. Um, but bergamot is added to a lot of things cause it's actually extremely healthy for you. Um, so there's like bergamot fruit oils, um, and stuff like that. So it's kind of just like, it's all natural stuff. You guys, it's not natural. is kind of the wave of the future. So, um, you know, it's, it's time to kind of jump on board that wagon. So, like I said, you shake and then just like the dry shampoo, you don't want to be like, woo, like right here. You want to give it a little bit of a distance. Again, I'm going to look at this mirror and do this at the same time. Um, so as you grab your hair, you want to spray it as the hair falls. So then that, the dry texture spray is picking up those hair strands and connecting to that, that hair. And it's adding that like, look, I, didn't, I haven't even done anything. And it's already like poofing out, you know? So again, I do, I like to do the same thing kind of closer to my root. And you guys like, look at the, if I split my hair in half here, and you can do it down here too. And you guys, my hair doesn't feel grippy. It doesn't feel like nasty. You know what I mean? And look at the difference. You can tell, look at what that did on this side and look how straight this side is. So it's like clear as day what it does. And I'm not putting butane and all this other crap on my hair. So again, same thing. And then normally what I do after I'm done doing that, again, you guys, a little goes a long way. You don't need a whole bunch of this stuff. And again, I'm going to flip. I'm like free willy over here. And sometimes I'll spray, where they go? Sometimes I'll spray at the bottom. So then it adds some weight like on my, on my base, like the nape of my neck. <clears throat> so flip. Get that stuff massaged in there. And sometimes, even though my hair's dry, sometimes I'll do that little scrunchy technique. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm so short over here. I don't know if you guys can see me. But. And then normally what I'll do is I'll kind of come back with the brush and I'll just kind of lightly brush a little bit. Just to kind of. Give me that style that I want. And then, so obviously you can tell, look at that. That looks so much better, right? Then, which I will do a tutorial all on this bad boy because this is like the gold of the company. This is what we call liquid gold. This is rejuvenique oil and it's incredible. But it's made of essential oils and it's just super good for your hair and I'm running out. So I need to order like today <laughs> because I can't live without it. I have some rejuvenique. There's, there's rejuvenique oil and then there's re like a light version. There's rejuvenique light. So, um, and it's just a lighter version. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to do a whole thing on rejuvenique oil because that this stuff is literally in everything. It's in all of our shampoos and conditioners. It's in a lot of our products. Um, so that's like literally the home run of the company. So, <clears throat> but yeah, you guys just enough. You don't need a whole, whole bunch. 
Um, you can do, with the rejuvenic oil, you can do scalp treatments. It helps with eczema. It helps with psoriasis. It helps with dry skin. Um, it even helps with things like diaper rash for babies, for all my moms out there. Um, it helps with, you can actually take your makeup and stuff off with it because it's an oil. Um, but it's a dry oil, so it doesn't make you oily. Um, and I think a lot of people get confused too when you're using an oil. So as you can see, my hands are oily. You always wanna lather any of our stuff. Um, and when you use this, the, any oil, I don't care what oil you're using, um, you know, I don't care if it's argan oil or whatever, but you don't, don't come up here like you don't really need to come up here. The, but the good thing about rejuvenique oil is that since it is more of a dry oil, it's not going to be like, it's not gonna leave you oily because it is gonna dry. So, but, so I'll kind of like swoop through, like I just do like the fingertips up here. Um, I really don't touch much over here. And then you guys like, you can just rub it in. Like you can put this stuff all over the place. It doesn't matter, it's all natural. It's not gonna hurt you or anything like that. And then what I do, so I started at the top with brushing my hair then because my hair's already been brushed. So I'm not going through knots. I'm not damaging my hair by going at the top if I would have done it whenever I first let it down. So, but that's it, you guys. Easy peasy, super, super easy. But this is everyday, everyday hair. Everyday, easy, straightened hair, nothing crazy. So, other than that, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, or if you want to know more about like the dry shampoo or the dry texture spray. Um, also, with the hairspray, if you guys have like, I don't really have any flyaways right now, but if you want to use, um, if you want to use hairspray to kind of tame some of that down, you can just kind of lightly spray it and kind of just pat it down and tame it a little bit. And it's, that's pretty much it, you guys. So I wanted to, there's three quotes that I wanted to end on because I feel like it's super important to at least end with like a positive quote. Um, and I'll probably do that on like all of my videos. I think it's gonna be like kind of a thing that I do is, is end on positive like quotes that I find. So all of these quotes are actually from the book, You Are Badass. I told you guys I'm gonna reference back to this book multiple times because this book is literally badass. So um, this references to that. So give credit where credit's due. But, okay, so the quote says, comparison is the fastest way to make all the fun, or to take, to wake, what? To take all the fun out of life. So comparison is the fastest way to take all the fun out of life. So today, if you see somebody that like, you're like, oh, why, why don't I have that? Or of course he or she drives that car or whatever. Well, why are you comparing? I mean, if you want that car or if you want what that person has or whatever, then go out and get it. Like, don't compare, just do it, you know? Um, I thought that like, that just really spoke to me. Um, also another one was what other people think about you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. So instead of being so worried, kind of like going on the topic, like how I talked about yesterday, instead of being so worried about what everybody else thinks about you, um, really, like I said yesterday too, those people aren't really thinking about you. They're more so thinking about what you think of them. And if they are thinking bad of you, that doesn't say anything bad about you, that more so speaks to them and the person they are. So don't worry about that stuff. That's just like negativity and stress that none of us need. Um, and, Pretty much, I mean, love yourself, you guys. Like, we're all great people, you know? I mean, well, not everybody's great, but you know what I'm saying. Um, love yourself, just be happy, think positive. Um, also, another one, all that matters is what's true for you. And if you can stay connected to the mindset, and, and blah, 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 blah. if you can stay connected with that mindset instead of straying away, you'll be a superhero. You'll be a mighty superhero. So, even though things happen in our lives, we all have bad days, et cetera, et cetera, just remember that everything will be okay and that you need to love yourself and all that matters is what's true to you. And if you feel like you're doing good, 
then that's all that matters. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Like that quote says, what other people think about you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. So just let them go. Let the haters fade away. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I end, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you learned something. And like I said, if you have any questions about any of these guys or this bad boy, you just let me know. Or if you have questions about the book or anything like that, um, also let me know. If you need any tips and tricks or anything like that for your hair, this, like I said, you guys, everyday hair, nothing crazy, very simple. Starting out on a, on a simple uh, way. Look, I'm so like red now because of the heat from the straightener. Um, but yeah, if you guys need any help, let me know. Love you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow.